Hey there, my name is Rohit Kumar and today we are going to discuss another very important research topic that is what is the difference between a transaction and a journey. So it's a very common myth that uh, transactions are something which is better than journey and uh, most of the uh, initial phase researchers do believe this also because they usually listen so much about this particular term transaction transaction that they do literally believe that transaction is something that is way ahead than the definition of a journey but it is not at all the reality let me tell you the facts one by one here you can come onto the actively explore site you can see so here is the browse category here you can see that there is no transaction category what is the reason because transaction is nothing special it is just a journal type only so if you click on the journals and magazines category then in this particular category if we search the journals by some keywords. So if I put the keyword transaction, so it will search the keyword transaction among the titles of journals. And here you can see the IEEE transactions of aerospace and electronic system, IEEE transaction on effective, effective computing, IEEE transactions on antenna and propagation, IEEE transaction on applied superconductivity, artificial intelligence, audio, speech and language processing, automatic control, automation, science and engineering, big data, etc. So many different transactions are coming and all these are coming under the category of journals and magazines only. Means IEEE itself who uh, usually puts so many IEEE transactions is listing all the transactions under the category of journals and magazines only. Means transaction is not at all some new category or something special. It is just a particular journal. Now the point is that uh, if it is so, then is it true with uh, every other uh, publisher also? So let me give you an example with Science Direct also. Here in the general and book title search box, here you put the term transaction. And again, you will see a lot of transactions. You see here the transactions of uh, mathematical uh, A. Ramazde Mathematical Institute transactions of non-ferrous metal society of china then the transactions of the british mycological society etc okay so here you can see that all the transactions are listed here now point is that one thing is clear that uh, transaction is nothing special it's a type of journal only so just to, to clarify these sort of things if we click on particular transaction then here about the journal means it is a journal only okay now we close this particular thing. Now it is very clear that transactions are nothing but the journal only. Now come we come to the uh, particular question that why the situation has become like this, that people are so much focused or obsessed about journals. Even so many institutes who do declare that you have to publish one transaction at least. So point is that most of the, uh, if we go to the top journals by journal impact factor list, then IEEE itself has published this particular list on their site. And here you can see that IEEE has 20 out of top 25 journals in electrical and electronic engineering category by journal impact factor. Okay, so here the nature electronics part of this, but you see that IEEE transactions are dominating this list. IEEE transaction, IEEE transaction, IEEE transaction, then IEEE transaction, IEEE transaction, IEEE transaction, IEEE transaction, IEEE transaction, IEEE transaction. So in this way, if you see that majority of transactions are dominating this particular listing, and it is not only true with this particular category only. If you come down to telecommunication category, here also you will have the transaction, transaction. If you come to other top IEEE journals, then here also you will find transaction, transaction, transaction. In computer science, artificial intelligence, in automation and control theory, also you will have lots of transaction. Then in cybernetics, also you will have the dominating transactions. Then in the hardware and architecture, also you will have the transaction dominating. So, in multiple different categories, whether it's the software engineering, whether it's the interdisciplinary applications, whether it's the aerospace, whether it's the theory and methods, in all of the major categories, the transactions are dominating means the particular journals which are having the term transaction in their name, they are dominating that particular list. So uh, one question comes that why they are dominating? Because 
it depends on different sorts of maintenance by the editorial board means how they have drafted their policies how they are accepting the particular research articles that is a different thing but one thing is clear that transactions are dominating the list of top journals so that's why it has become a notion and a common understanding that transaction is something special but it is not like this and uh, uh, stating this sort of policy that you should have a transaction to get something means to have a degree or sort of thing that is very means a very linen kind of guideline because here you can see that uh, the ngt uh, flexible electronics nature electronics pro progress in uh, quantum electronics then proceedings of the ieee which is a very very good journal of ieee then ieee networks ieee vehicular technology magazines then uh, the ieee internet of things journals ieee communications magazines then the uh, pattern recognition expert systems with applications then ieee journal of selected topics in signal processing all these journals are not having the term transaction in their name and they are listed in the top 25 journals of ieee in the category of electrical and electronics engineering so point is that this common myth should be busted because so many people so many researchers are under pressure and they themselves don't understand that what they are doing what they are looking for so the common myths should not be in the place of understanding and that's why you should have a clear cut idea what is the difference between a transaction and journal so i hope by now you must have had a clear understanding now moving ahead i'm going to show you that is every transaction better than or is every transaction dominating the list of top journals so it is not like this there are some very recently introduced transactions i'm not saying that they are not accepting the good quality work but i'm saying that you should always think first then only you should take a decision for example if you are in the last phase of your research and you are you don't have the required means the sufficient number of scl publications for your degree award and you are publishing your work into a transaction just by looking the term transaction in the title of the journal that it is a very great thing no it is not like this i took the transactions on green communications and networking the papers are really good of this particular journal but it is you can see that impact factor is not listed here okay means it is a recently means newly introduced the journal so if we go to the uh all issues so here you can see that it is started in 2017 only so just 5 or 6 years back it is started and that's why its impact factor is not in the place and even if you go to the sci list then you just need to simply copy it copy the name of the journal then you need to move on to the clarivet site and here you need to paste it so here you can see that it is coming sci now okay so it is sci but there might be some of the journals or transactions which might not be sci or which might not be having the q1 or q2 ranking so you should always go for the sci listing first there might be cases that the journals are not having the impact factor at the home page at the home page but they are being listed at sci or they are being listed in the q1 or q2 ranking okay for example if i go to sci mago also so here you can check the q1 q2 ranking so i think it is q1 the h index is uh, 26 which is very low but it is because that the journal is introduced uh, very recently so here you can see that it is q1 q ranking is introduced in 2019 only and the journal started in 2017 so in with respect to 17 and 18 means there was no q ranking displayed so people might have a, a misunderstanding then why it is so so you should be always specific about these sort of things because when you are going for job people are going to look whether the journal is sci what is the q ranking and sort of things okay second example that uh, i triple e sensor letter if i am not wrong it is letter only and uh, there are multiple other ieee works which are uh, listed like this so ieee sensors letters so here we click and uh, here we you see that here also there is no impact factor and if you go to the all issues then here it also started in 2017 and if we copy the name of the journal and move on to the sci listing search then here you can see that uh, it in 
emerging source of citation index means it is ESCI. It is not SCI or SCIE. So in this way, if you publish in IEEE censorship journal, just by looking at the term letter, that it is letter means it is very good. Okay, it might be good in the future or it is accepting good articles, but your institute will not award you degree based on this particular journal because it is not SCI as of now. So in this way, you should be always clear that I'm not criticizing any journal or any publisher because initially, if you are starting today, it is very obvious that this year or next year, you are not going to be SCI or you are not going to have the impact factor very high or something like that. Everything progresses slowly, but as a researcher, you should be aware of the rules and regulation and you should have a clear understanding that what would be the kind of obstacles in your path of degree award and what are the things which can assist you to have the smooth going process. Okay, so in this way, you should be very much aware about this uh, myths and the notions of transaction journals, letters, etc. And uh, what is the difference between the SCI listing? What is the difference between the Q ranking and sort of? And first and the foremost thing that you should always be aware about the institutional or the kind of organization policies then only you can have a successful and peaceful research. So thanks for watching this video. Please let me know if I did some uh, wrong analysis and do criticize the video through your comments. Uh, I would love to hear about the, your opinions and would love to enhance my analysis in my future videos. Thanks for watching again. Happy learning.